Hey everybody. So recently I received a comment on one of my videos about Windows 11 system requirements. And of course y'all probably know I am not a fan of Windows 11 system requirements and I frequently refer to them as the Microsoft Elite Class System Requirements for Windows 11 on this channel. But anyways, there was a comment that I received stating that Microsoft had apparently lifted these requirements allowing you to install Windows 11 on systems that don't meet the requirements without having to do workarounds. So I was like, hmm, let me look into that. So I did some searching and apparently it seems that this is not exactly the case. Um, if we look here at this Windows Central uh, website or web page, which I'll put a link into the video description, it says, no, Microsoft isn't letting you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And an incorrect report claims that Microsoft has dropped Windows 11 strict TPM requirements. It hasn't. So, it, basically this just goes over more or less um, why uh, this is not actually true. And part of it is, I believe Microsoft actually, hey, they had a web, they had actually had a web page up briefly telling you that you could bypass the requirements and install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So as you can see here, there was briefly a uh, page up on Microsoft Learn about allegedly how to bypass the system requirements or actually how to install Windows 11 on system and requirements without having to use workarounds. And you can see that it says the content has been deleted. This content has been deleted due to a violation of our code of conduct. The content was manually reported or identified through automated detection before action was taken. So apparently this could be misinformation, not as certain, but there's one way to find out. Okay, so to make this fair, let's go ahead and do a test here on this video. Um, so I have a brand new, fresh Windows 11 24H2 ISM is downloaded and I have it mounted as a removable drive to the Mid Tower Lux. Mid Tower Lux has a Ryzen 7 1700X CPU. It definitely does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class System requirements, although we are currently running Windows 11 23H2 on the system. So, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, run setup and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to actually say not right now to that. See what happens here. And you can see it says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. The processor isn't supported for this version of Windows. And you can see there are no options here to bypass this unless you do one of the workarounds such as Rufus. So apparently things are still business as usual with Microsoft. Um, if you want to install Windows 11 on a system that don't meet the requirements such as your Windows 10 computer, um, you're going to have to use a workaround such as Rufus. For example, I think Rufus is probably the most popular workaround, and I do have a video, or I will have a video, um, of doing a setting up Windows 11 24 H2 on an ISO image. So, there you go. Um, apparently, the truth is, you still cannot install Windows 11 on systems that don't meet the requirements unless you use one of the workarounds. So, anyways, hopefully this clears everything up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel that's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.